Good morning. So behind me, I got a load of a truckload of 16 foot white pine logs. I'm gonna build a timber frame with these. I'll need a few more than these. So I know someone, they cut me another load in order to get that truckload. The deal is I gotta carve them a mahi mahi. Let's get to it. Yeah, that went pretty well. I got impatient. I used the saw, but I think it turned out better. It would have been a little choppier doing this many by uh, hand. Uh, it's, that would just get taxing, so I think I ended up with a better result. Let it dry. I'll bristle brush it a little bit, and it'll look, it'll look super nice, so that's good. Um, Probably grab the die grinder and uh, punch this eye in. Feel pretty good about where that's at. So let's go ahead and punch that in right now. All right, so by rocking it, I was able to get a bigger diameter. It's people is forward and up, so right about here and then it can just hold that.
Okay, sweet. So what I got here, it's an off-brand Osborne brush. You can get these on Amazon for like 20, 25 bucks. They probably went up since I bought this one. They last a while. But it's a nylon with a slight abrasive in it. And, you know, it leaves it pretty clean. And it'll even out a lot of the chatter. So. So I'm ready to thin this down. Obviously it doesn't need to be this thick hanging on a wall, uh, but it's always good to leave a little extra because you can always push in. Just like when you're carving a face on someone, you should rough the whole body out, but leave extra behind. You only want to do it to a certain point so you can always push that face in until you're happy with the face. And then you start to, you know, finish the rest of the body. You want to do be going all over, but especially when you're roughing it in. But that's a side tangent. So getting back to this, got a laser level. I like to set this up and uh, that way I can mark all the way around it. It's not perfectly flat right now. I just roughly cut this so, so I'd have a piece. And so we'll get it at a height I like, and then I'll go around with a marker, that black crayon, so I can really get it in at a depth I like. A much more manageable thickness though. Yeah, I think next step is just beveling down the backside. We'll do that right now. Right meow. We need a way to hang this fish on the wall. And maybe the customer will want to make a plaque, but I'm also going to add a keyhole. And so I want to find the center. And so we're going to approximate um, just by balancing it out. So I'd say right around in here is going to be close enough. So I have a designated router with a keyhole bit in it. So let's grab that. All right, so we got the keyhole in there. Let's go hang it up and see how we did. Hello, we're back. Got the Mahi Mahi here and uh, gonna start painting it. And I'll walk through what I did afterwards. But let's get to it.
All right, so we got it all finished up. I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, my friend might want it distressed a little bit, in which case I just hit it with a flap sander, take off some of the edges, make it look worn out. And, but I'll hold off and see what he thinks of that first. But yeah, I just used regular spray paint cans. I gently misted it on. Uh, it was really windy today, so it dried super well. And then after that, I used an airbrush. And I'll take, I don't know, I'll take a water bottle. I'll cut a little hole in it and use it as a funnel. And I'll just spray, spray paint like Rust-Oleum, the Ultra Cover. I'll use that a lot of the time. It's really nice consistency. Sometimes the cheaper spray paint actually works better. It doesn't dry as fast. So it'll run through your uh, airbrush a little bit better. And I just use the cheap airbrushes from Harbor Freight. I don't like to endorse Harbor Freight, but that's the one tool that really has worked out pretty well for me from there. Uh, there's siphon feed, so you can have a couple different cups. And then I'll keep one with paint thinner or lacquer thinner in it. Lacquer thinner is harder on uh, rubber gaskets, so be careful with that. And if you leave the paint in there, the little siphon tubes will swell up from whatever they use to cut spray paint. But then I went and did some touch-ups with the airbrush, and yeah, I'm happy with it. And unless uh, unless Kyle has uh, some touch-ups he wants me to do, I think uh, this will be good for now. Not for now, forever. Also, I think I should have putting a keyhole bit in there. I did add this fin, the dorsal fin, whatever fin it is, and that I just did mortise and tenon pretty much. Shoved it up in there, put some Gorilla Glue on it, and that'll hold it in there just fine. I ran the grain of this uh, lengthwise this way so we don't have to worry about snapping off, so that's the plus of that. And. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll have more to come. Maybe that's lame. Let's see. Good outro. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. I don't know, Mahi Mahi are kind of funky looking fish. They look pretty dopey to be honest, but probably a blast to catch.